Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Law with Davida. If you're new here, my name is Davida and here I just try to make law simple and fun. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be doing how to get good grades. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And it goes a little yeah. something like... Before we get started, I want to sound a quick disclaimer. This is nowhere near to brag, this is just to help other people. Step one, and the most important step, is do not procrastinate. Do the work as soon as you get it. Don't try to leave it for other things. Just get it done as soon as you can. Procrastination can lead to horrible work ethic, decreased mental health, and it can also lead to a work overload. When you have when you procrastinate on an assignment that was due maybe two days ago, the work from the next two days will also pile on to the assignment that you have not finished. The reason I don't procrastinate is because when I feel like I have something I have to get done and it's always on your head throughout the rest of your day, it can lead to more stress than doing the actual assignment. The second step to getting good grades is doing all your extra credit assignments. Doing your extra credit assignments can boost your grades significantly. Even if you don't want to do it and feel like it's too much work, think about how it can benefit you in the long run. As an example, I did an extra credit assignment and it boosted my grade a ton. The third step to getting good grades is paying attention in class. Now that most of us are on Zoom and doing online classes, it is harder to pay attention because there's so many things to distract you. If you don't pay attention, there's a chance that you might miss the instructions to the assignment or not understand when you have an assignment on what the teacher previously taught you. The fourth step to getting better grades is not rushing and checking over your assignments. If you rush on assignments, there's a tendency that you might skip a question, miss a question, or not fully understand a question. When you're rushing, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. And when you check over, you might catch a mistake that you had or a, maybe a question that you missed or a question that you forgot to answer. The fifth and final step is studying. Even just for 10 minutes a day, it can benefit you a ton. When you study, even if you don't have a test, maybe just for 10 minutes a day, it can benefit you. Benefit. <laughs> benefit. We do not care. Let's say you have a pop quiz. The things you study for may be on that quiz and could potentially benefit you in the long run. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for 250 subscribers. I appreciate all the support. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Let's grow together. Happy International Women's Month. You all are amazing.